Profiteers by Midnight Oil, CBT guitar lesson for Damien. This is in standard tuning, and uh, once again, we always have sections of golden nuggets with Midnight Oil. Let's jump right in. Section 1A, this is a fade in, C major to B flat major. 3A, 5th fret, D, G, and B. However you play that is fine. Um, two strums, over to B flat, 1, 3, 3, 3, and that fades in. Eight, about eight times. Make sure you're hearing all that. Then um, 13 seconds in, you'll have this solo one. Six hammer eight on the E and B. And slide that and then go three hammer five G. And then three B rest. You're gonna do that two times, so. Then he finishes off the solo one. It's just a real short solo. Uh, pre bend the fifth fret on the G string a half step and pull off to three. And then five, three, D, G. Okay, then after that, down, up, down, five, three, five on the D. So, five, G. Bend, release, pull off to three, five, three, D, G, rest, vibrato. And he kind of lets that ring a second before starting the bend. In the section 1A, I love this part. 1A, 3D, 3G. We're going to arpeggiate it. We're going to pick it in that order. And then hit the 1A, slide to 3, and then pick 5, D, and G. And then I love this little walk down. 4, 3, 1 on the D. 4, 3 on the A. That's going to go two times. Then, um, 2, 1, 1, D, G, and B. So I would play it like that. There's a few I'm barring over here. Crazy chord. 36 seconds in. Just a few little lead things. I could have called, well, actually, this would be solo two. Um, why I listed it as one, I don't know, because we already did the first one. I'll make that adjustment on here. Um, 3G, we're going to bend, and then go first fret on the B, 3G, bend, release. Up, down, 1, 3 on the G, bend, hold, release, bend. Vibrato, release. Back to the two one one chord. Open three one on the B. Go down down up, which means it's going to be quicker. Three one on the G. Pull off to one. Three two on the D, and then that chord again. So you have so abstract crazy, and it works, man. Section 1B, 50 seconds in, while I'm thinking about it, let's call this solo two, which is probably going to, I don't know, I might have sent you these tabs already, you may need to make this adjustment on, on your end. <clears throat> um, what we're going to have here is, uh, it's this again, but it's longer. Oops. Okay. So this is the same, but add the 1A, and then 4, 3, 2, 1, so it's chromatic on the low E, and then open 2, 2, 4, 5. I love the element of surprise with this guitar player. You don't expect that chord at the end, just like the, you're not expecting those. Section 1C, a minute 17 in. Three, two on the low E. This is clean, I believe. And then open E, two D. So we're going to hybrid pick that. Pick and finger. Or if that's too hard to do, just play the second fret on the D. 
And then open GBE. And then BGD on the way back up. Let's go to page three. Um, open four two ADG and an open E. Add the four B to the end. Love that. Open A second fret D and G, and then hit the one B open E together. That's an A minor. Rest and then play the B string fret one. So we have. Open two three on the A, so it's a lock up. And then two open D G. Open B. Three two on the low E down up, so that's gonna be quick. And then repeat second time no star, which is this. But you repeat everything else up to there. Then after the double dots, three, two, that big E chord at one, uh, minute thirty. Next new part is section. 1D, 2 minutes and 6 seconds in, and it's open D, 2G, 3B, some really neat stuff going on here, man, um, and then 1, 3, 3, D, G, B, so, 3D, open G, 1B, same thing, but a 2 on the D, 25 times until it fades out. Kind of rush, Alex Lifeson. Guitar solo again, which I didn't, I didn't write it, but we're gonna put three. So make that notation, because I think your tabs were already sent on this. Um, I'm just gonna kind of go through these, um, not, a, not as much explaining, because you've got the tabs, you just gotta work with them, but here's what we got. <laughs> slow those last three are going to be quicker next riff next one see the down up on the 5-7 G that's got to be quicker. That's why I put down up on that. So, 214 timestamp. We've got this. Try that again. Go to page four of five. Um, 5G, 216 timestamp. Oh, it's that. You'll go. Once you hit the 5A, you go. Let's see. That's a quicker run. So. And then 7-7 seven, seven on the D. Down up. And then 6-5-B and E together. Three times. Sounds like this. 220 timestamp, you got this. Let's do all that again. Um, it's going to be a quicker thing as well. And then what do we have there? A 7G um, slide up to 10 to t uh, 12D. 224 timestamp, 8 on the B, slide to 10, ending it with, ending it with. 
Okay, next little one after the rest there. Taken from the arpeggio, the 12D, followed by the three tens. Let's do that again. Oops. Those should be ringing together after you do the pull off on 1210E. But you can finish it off with. Fret 20. Then. And we finish on page 5. 238 timestamp, 1817 on the B. Explain something there at two minutes 43 seconds you're gonna see a 19 G with a two and a half um, step bend that's up there man I mean you're taking this and, and trying to get it to that okay it can be done but it's almost the extent of how far you can physically go you know 19 to 17 G and B. 17, 19 G slide. Okay, we're finishing up with 10 B pinky. 9, 7 on the G bend release. And then you'll see 7 and, and uh, double dots. Um, and it just fades out. He's just going... have it profiteers from 1979 midnight oil